Hello, this is John Sims with the Advised Serviceability Engineering Team. In this video, I'll cover how to configure a VIA or a system manager to make use of an off-board software repository or library for the Avaya B5800 branch gateway. Before we get started with the configuration, first a few notables about the reason for this in the first place. System Manager now requires an external server to act as a remote file repository to handle B1500 upgrades. The server needs to support HTTP access to the repository files, and this is for B1500 redirected upgrades, which I'll explain further, and should have an FTP or SCP or secure FTP server to download the firmware files from the PLDS website, and furthermore to transfer from System Manager to this file repository. As you see, the server requirements are pretty high level. Any virtualized or standalone Windows or Linux distribution with a moderate amount of disk space and memory, and that there's a web server supporting HTTP access into the file repository for these redirected upgrades. And lastly, your choice of file transfer capabilities. So once the PLDS files are in the System Manager cache, System Manager will make use of these transfer protocols to send the SUM package to the B5800 file repository. So now it's time to start our configuration. You see I'm logged into System Manager 6.2 and I'm on the first landing page with all the elements and I'm heading into inventory and all the inventory sub pages. So under upgrade management I'm going to select software library and you'll see System Manager already provides a default library which you see I've selected there and it's responding on the local loopback address it is has a description of default local file server the default library is telling us true that it is selected as the default library it is not a remote library and it's using secure file transfer protocol as its protocol of choice and then if you go into the view options you can see things like the server path and how it's set up and again how the default protocol is using SFTP. So I'll select done. Now it's time to add a new file repository. So in the same software library screen I'm going to select new and then we're going to start configuring our B5800 offboard external file repository. So of course we have our required fields. I'm going to first provide a name for this file repository. So B5800 repository 2 and then an IP address. So I have this server staged already. It happens to be a Linux server. I'll give it a description and then a server path. Now let's pause here. The server path is quite important actually. This is the path that System Manager is going to use on your file repository to transfer the downloaded PLDS sum package to this file repository. So you see I've taken great care now. I am going into the home admin home directory and I'm actually then giving it the www because I have a web server installed there and I'm actually making sure that the the sum package is delivered into the web directory or the root web directory for later for HTTP access. So just keep that in mind. You may want to have the server path where again where system manager is transferring the files go directly into your root web directory of choice. Now we move on to default library. Do not check that. It is not going to be the default library. Instead you see it's selected as a remote library and grayed out for us. That's the only selection it can have. The default protocol is secure file transfer protocol and because we're making use of SFTP to transfer from the system manager cache to the file repository we have to furnish an, a valid SFTP username and account as you see me doing so now. But we're not done. We have to head to the HTTP HTTPS configuration tab and we have to enable HTTP HTTPS. Now actually B5800 is going to make use of HTTP. So you see I'm going to put in my server path. Now that will resolve directly to my web directory that I'm going to use as my file repository. So again the same directory that we use to file transfer we also use to have HTTP access to for the redirected upgrades. 
you see that it could be any URL of your choice. Your web page and the IP address could be a fully qualified domain name as well, as you see me entering now, just as a placeholder. So again, this is up to you and your config and your customer config. The web server should have connectivity into the same file repository where System Manager transferred the sum package. Otherwise, you're moving around files manually to get that sum package to the right location to provide web access. Now, to explain again what's happening is, first System Manager will pull from PLDS and then make use of, in our case, secure file transfer protocol to send those files to the external repository. Now, it's here that you're setting the HTTP access. What will happen is during an upgrade request for these, this B1500 package, System Manager will then inform to say this upgrade is valid, the package is there, and to make use of this URL. So the B1500 is instructed then to follow to this URL to again find the software upgrade package and process it accordingly. Another way to say it is the system manager is not keeping the sum package on its in its local repository instead it's going to redirect the b1500s to make use of this offboard external file repository for upgrade so web redirection is being is occurring making use of this url that you're entering here so if a username is required or a password in my case it's not i have it wide open for all public access but if you do require username and password this is where you would enter it and now you'll see i'll click commit and our software library should be successfully added, and it is. So as a quick review, you see our name and our IP address of the external repository in the description. It's, a, it's not a default library, but it is a remote library, and you see the protocols being selected, both Secure File Transfer Protocol and HTTP HTTPS. Now, I've admittedly cheated and already downloaded to these repositories. So if I select the repository and then go to More Actions, Manage Files, you'll see it will report on what has been downloaded to each repository. But it's a good teaching point here. We want to show that the B1500 Admin Lite will only make use of the System Manager default local repository. And the software update module, the full packages, you see it's 460 meg, that has to then be stored on an off-board external file repository that System Manager still has access to. So our addition of an external software file repository for B1500 upgrades is now complete. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.